Welcome y'all, it's Debbie, Girl with Pearls, and today I'm working on a Stars and Stripes craft project. I bought these two stars for a dollar each at Walmart, and I'm going to create a shabby Star and Stripe project. So first I'm going to coat them all with one coat of white, and then after they're dry, I'm going to add some stripes by using some painter's tape and my level. I need a level. I look at the little bubbles to make sure I have straight lines, and it works great. So what I'm going to do is just tape out where I want the stripes to be. And I just did it randomly. I didn't measure where I wanted them to be. I'm just randomly selecting by eye. I'm looking at the bubbles to make sure it's even. The neat thing about it is you can move your tape after you're done. If you think you've got things too close or too far away, all you do is pick up the tape. I'm measuring the distance so I can do the same on the top. making sure that my line is good. You can see it isn't, so I had to adjust my tape. And there we go. So now you wanna make sure you really seal the edges down well so the paint doesn't leak underneath. So go all over your edges. Now I'm using two different paints. One's a cherry red and one's a crimson red. And I'm also gonna mix a little bit of black in with it to darken it up. I want um, that folk art country kind of color of red, and I didn't have it, so I'm just making my own. Now, I know these are gonna take a couple coats, and let me move this out of the way because, yeah, I could splash, accidents happen. Better to be safe than sorry. So, I'm just gonna paint this out these are the stripes, let it dry, and then do a second coat. Making sure I get the edges so when it's done, the lines will be the same. Okay, now for the next star, I'm doing a little bit of a different pattern, and I laid it out with my tape using my level. And the top on this one, I am using blue. I had it mixed up from one of my other craft projects. I actually did three craft projects at once. When I get into painting and I'm gonna lay everything out and drag everything out, I like to do uh, many things at once using the same red I was just showing you that I used on the one next to it. Once again, making sure I have the edges done. Okay, second coat, it was dry enough. Time did lapse. Okay, time lapsed again, and I'm going to remove the tape. And you can see you get nice, crisp lines by using the painter's tape. And just the look I was going for. Okay. 
And there you have it. I have one boo-boo, but that boo-boo I'll touch up with white because I'm going to shabby this anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'll just put a little white paint over that dot. And you can sand it off as well if you're going to shabby. All right, let's peel this one off and see how we did here. And you can see what they look like shabbied. I used a little bit of a, a brown paint with water and shabbied them. And now what I'm going to do is use some chalk to do my lettering because chalk, you can wipe it off if you make a mistake. And then once I have the letters the way I want it, and I erased it many times, <laughs> but once I have the letters the way I want it, then I go over it with a chalk pen and they'll be permanent. So I'm doing God bless for America because with the flag stripes below, I think you get the drift. So that's the chalk. And now I'm going to use a permanent chalk marker. And there you have it. So I wanted it to look shabby and I'm happy how it turned out. Now here's where I placed it. And the other one I put on the top shelf. Hey, thanks for joining me.